Welcome to this edition of Business Foresight. And today we talk about Takataka Solutions, which is an organization uh, that has come out to ready itself to bring change as far as recycling is done. Now, let me ready myself for this great commission. And by the way, we will be talking to a gentleman by the name Ken Mwita, who will talk to us generally about what they do here and uh, basically how the business uh, is run. Now, this is the Kawangware Center, the recycling center, where all material, all waste uh, products from households or companies or factories is collected and brought for sorting. Now, this is exactly uh, the sorting exercise as it's happening. Now, it's, it's, it's a job that you may not really look at as something uh, worth doing if you do not want to get deep uh, into creating solutions. However, it is something that you want to consider if you want to make business sense, particularly as a Kenyan and uh, for the purpose of growing the economy. Now, this area is the sorting chamber. Now, the sorting chamber is exactly what happens where uh, the kind of waste products that are brought in are sorted in terms of the recyclable, uh, the organic, and of course, uh, what you call uh, the resi uh, residual uh, uh, waste products. We'll be talking more in our entrepreneur segment. You don't want to miss that. And later on in the show, we'll speak to a lady, Susan. She will talk to us about the expert view of this kind of business. She will tell us just how you can venture into it and how you can make business sense, even in a small way. Did you know that only one third of Nairobi's trash makes it to the single county dump site at Dandora, where a solid waste of nearly 2.5 million residents remains unaccounted for? And did you know that if recycled, the garbage could produce valuable products as wine glasses, sugar dishes, bulb holders, and organic manure besides having conserved the environment? This is what Takataka Solutions is doing. Its innovative model of waste management and ensures there is no waste out of the waste. This is how it's done. Takataka Solutions is basically an organization comprising a team of young people committed to bringing positive change to society through cleanliness. It's no wonder cleanliness is next to godliness. According to Ken Witter, the area manager of the Kawangari Collection Center or Recycling Center, the organization prides itself to offering affordable waste management services for previously unserved lower income areas. The main inspiration was uh, the amount of waste in Nairobi alone. It's a lot, almost 1.3 tons in a 1.3 million tons in a in a in a day. So we thought about uh, how we can uh, be able to make sure that most of the with the waste products not dumped at the end of the day, we can recycle actually most, almost 80% of our waste is recycled for other purposes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's an, uh, it's an environmental aspect. The financial aspect is that uh, we are able to charge a certain fee to the different households they pay us so that we can collect their waste from their households. And it's creating uh, job uh, employment opportunities to, to us and uh, yeah. Collecting and recycling previously uncollected waste, Takataka Solutions makes the environment cleaner and healthier while closing the loop of valuable materials. Local youth earn a just living as employees of this company. Their key responsibility? To collect waste door to door while training and equipping clients to separate their waste. After sorting the decentralized transfer points, organic waste is composted and recyclables are recycled in-house and externally. Takataka Solutions collects waste for as low as a dollar a month, say between 80 and 100 shillings per household. And this is how the process is done. Now, waste products are collected every day, millions of tons from all over the world. But very few people will take initiative to give guidelines on how to sort it out. Now, we have various dustbins here and a highlight of the organic and non-organic waste products that are supposed to be collected highlighted for the residents for easy identification of the boxes or dustbins. Now that is just part of the solution. Taka Solutions involves itself 
in primary sorting and this is exactly what happens. Now, the gentlemen that are with me here have come to collect uh, the waste products from the homes here and they begin with the sorting right at this stage. We begin at the collection center. Hand cuts move from house to house to collect the garbage. The household waste products include kitchen waste and general waste including worn out clothes and already used paper wrappers. After the collection, the hand coats are properly loaded and the handlers carefully push them to the collection zone. A tedious exercise it seems, but one worth the cause. Most of the young people here are either school dropouts or graduates who haven't simply landed their dream jobs in Kenya's depressed job market. They have however grown to love what they do as it puts food on their table. When you go to a household, you calculate the number of houses and they come up with a certain argument. For institutions basically, it's usually as per the size of the institution because we have households and we have institutions, churches, schools and, hosp uh, churches, schools and hotels. We charge a different fee on depending on how we can agree with them. Like they say, sometimes something good is born out of adversity. It has become a common phenomenon in East Africa's largest economy, a struggle for the fittest of sorts, particularly in Kenya's capital, with over 3.5 million residents and obviously a limited jobs opportunity. And like few in such slum areas who resort to acts of thuggery to forcefully fend for themselves, it is amazing you would wonder what benefits Taka Solutions has brought about over the past few years of its existence. The collection further involves use of lorries in fetching more household waste, particularly from areas slightly far from the collection center. Soon after arrival, further sorting is done by a dedicated team of employees before the products are now moved to a dispatch shed. Not all the waste is recycled here. Part of it is sold to specific firms that undertake, for instance, the smelting of bottles and plastics for remanufacture. According to Ken Wheater, the area manager, at least 90% of all waste is recycled. And of the recyclable waste, 80% of it, if not more, is organic meaning it is kept well and allowed time to decompose. The end product is then subjected to further sieving so as to give rise to manure, which is again sold off to farmers. It is no doubt that Teka Solutions endeavors to provide a clean environment, but it is further a smart way of doing business. My cue, all the household waste are collected at a fee. And for the team of young people here, revenue sources are wide and unexploited. The last point of reference may just blow your mind. The waste products that are considered non-organic, such as beer bottles, are a tremendous source of creativity. After sorting, they are soaked in distilled water in order to rid them of the paper stickers before they are dried and wiped clean. The artistic nature of the solution provides now means they employ some basic scientific knowledge of cutting them into two. What is boiled to about 100 degrees Celsius then poured into the now clean bottles. A running tap water of cold water is then let on the marked surface. The contraction and expansion forces allow the bottle to succumb and split into two at the point of incision. The two parts give rise to two products. A makeshift water glass while the upper section is turned upside down and a base fitted to it to act as a wine glass. These bottles are later sun treated with a special compressor machine to get rid of the sharp ends giving them a smooth texture of finishing. They are then packaged for sale. The marketing exercise in the region has been an easy one due to the fact that suppliers and distributors such as local supermarket chains have embraced the artistic products as unique. I too couldn't help tossing to the creativity. Katana Bayer explains. Ni kama unataka kukata kuweka alama pale mahali utakata. Utaweka alama hapa kwa sababu inatakana ukizungusha hii iende tu once usirudie ukirudia the outcome itakuwa mbaya kwa hivyo natakana uende mpaka ikimiti pale kwenye hii alama umeweka ndio ni basi uondoe ukienda mara ya pili umeharibu hii line ambayo imejichora hapa hapa ndio utakata ukitumia maji moto na maji baridi so baada ya kuweka hiyo alama kuna hizi zinaacti kama damu unavisha 
hii line lazima ikuwe in between ya hizi mbili sasa hii chupa iko tayari kwa kuka kukatwa he like many other businesses within the Kenyan economy are looking forward to the harmonization of trade laws within the East African community particularly a concept he believes will open the market of over 130 million residents of East Africa to have a feel of the uniquely Kenyan artistic presentation of business and for just about 50 shillings you can get your wine glass for the entrepreneur feature I'm Zawadi Mudibo.